Hello and welcome everyone to our another episode of AMDP. So in the previous session we started the concept of performing CRUD operations using the AMDP methods and we saw how we can use create operation to insert a new record in our table. Also we saw we can, why we cannot use this read only options during the definition of our AMDP method. Now if I open the same program if I open the same program that I have created in the previous part this is the program we have created right and we went for insert operation okay so now if I am trying to insert the same record that I have inserted in the previous session what will happen what will happen if you will try to insert the same record that we have inserted so i will go for again execute button it is giving me a runtime error so this is a bug in my code right this cannot be allowed here cx amdp execution field exception is getting triggered right and if i go below and check it is telling me during the execution of database procedure an error has occurred so let's go below and check the problem where it is raising yeah you can see here it is raising during the insert part of our amdp method so we will have to handle this exception uh, sorry we will have to handle this exception right so how we will handle that so very important note here while performing performing create operations if we check our program we will see that if we have if we have duplicate records then it will give a runtime error right it will give a runtime error and what kind of error this class is raising the exception right cx amdp execution failed class is raising the exception exception so what we need to do we need to handle this particular exception so I will simply go to my AMDP class, right? This is my AMDP method and I will raise an exception if there is any exception here. So I will simply do the raise ex exception. So raising my class name. So this will simply raise the exception if there will be any exception, right? Let's activate it. Let's activate it. Now I have declared this exception. I will go back to my ABAP program. I will simply go back to ABAP program. Change method. Sorry, change. <clears throat> now I will recall this method again. So let's recall it inside the try block call method because we have declared the exception this time catch block will also come so call method lo uh, ex, uh, sorry lo obj and method name yeah catch exception is also coming so i will pass my internal table here lp employee and i, I will uncomment this exception and try perfect so this particular class is going to trigger the exception so what i will do i will simply create a object of this class so i will create here a object hello underscore exception type ref2 i will declare a reference of this class and if exception is triggering i will receive it into this hello underscore exception so hello underscore exception right i will 
the C between hello underscore etc. Perfect. Now I need to get the message. So I will declare a message class. So hello underscore message. I will declare a message variable. And into that variable I will simply receive the text that it is raising. Okay. So using the hello exception I will call the method hello exception. I am simply going to call the method here right get underscore text lots of method is there but I need get text if you go and check this particular class ex amdp execution fail go to ac24 inside it you can see here we have got get text right so we can directly use this method so we can directly use this method I am using this get text and I will simply receive my result in form of a string and I will store it into my uh, it will not be a local object it will be a local variable so let's make it lv underscore message right now if I go and check get text here you will find out that the result is of type string so our answer is correct we will get our data into lv string and I will simply do the write statement so here I will go for write so write statement will be uh, lv underscore message right so if this is triggering lv message will be printed otherwise what I can do I will simply display here if my lo exception lo underscore exception is initial that is if it is empty it simply means our data has been saved so employee data created type success and this perfect printer check oh. we could have given here message but uh, activate it <coughs> right now let's go and check it again I will pass the same record I will go for execution here. Perfect. We are not getting any runtime error now. We are not getting any runtime error error while when executing the database procedure, our method SQL error, SQL message, something is coming here, right? Perfect. And if I will go for new record, so let's try to give a new record here. Let's try to give a new record here. Uh, it's fine. Let's make it euro and go for execute button employee data created perfect so I will go to AC11 and I will open my table and I will check whether data is created or not 113 yeah 113 has been created 113 has been created so it's perfect okay so this is how we can do the exception handling so this was our exception handling exception handling during create operations using amdp method right <coughs> so this class is raising the exception we will have to handle it we will have to handle it perfect so this is all about this video thank you very much for watching it we will meet again in the next class